And developing tonight, this weekend was one of the deadliest in Chicago this year. And today, the violence continued. 14 people were shot and killed this weekend, and more than 100 others were hurt. The youngest casualty was three years old, Mikai James. He was shot and killed while sitting in a car with his father in the South Austin neighborhood. Police say his father was a target. Despite the threat of severe weather, people gathered to pray for the young children hurt and killed during weekend violence. WGN's Eric Rung is covering that for us tonight. He's live from Comer Children's Hospital. Eric. Well, good evening, and one of the reasons why we are here is because that violence did continue today. A three-year-old little girl was grazed by a bullet. We are told she is going to be okay. That is according to police, but her family, as well as several others in Chicago, are hurting tonight. They gathered on a corner in the Austin neighborhood to demand change. We cannot allow it. We will not allow it. Over the weekend, three-year-old McKay James and 13-year-old Amara Jones were killed by bullets intended for others. If you live around Austin, it affects you whether you see it or not. They gathered to say enough and ask for justice. This is about humanity. This isn't about black or white. This is humanity. Community activists and those in the community say people should come to the streets as they did after the death of George Floyd. But if there was a police officer that killed that 3 year old, it would have been 10,000 people on this corner right yes, now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when we say we yes, can't sir. breathe, let's be honest and understand there's people in our community taking our breath. Yes. Now, police are still looking for suspects in that teens as well as the three-year-old's case, as well as the three-year-old little girl that was shot today. Uh, again, she was just grazed by a bullet, according to police. We're live at Comer Children's Hospital. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Okay. All right. Thanks, Eric. Dozens gathered at St. Sabina tonight on the city's south side to call for peace after this weekend's gun violence. WGN's Patrick Elwood was there. He's live at police headquarters with that part of our coverage. Patrick. Lotus and Taman, good evening. That violent weekend leads to this Monday and calls for peace. And community leaders, including St. Sabina's Father Michael Flager, asking, where's the outrage? It was the bloodiest weekend of 2020. At least 106 people shot, 14 of them fatally, and five of them were minors. Tonight at St. Sabina, the call to turn in the killers. An activist priest, Father Michael Flager, asking, where is the outrage? There should be outrage. The same outrage there was when a police officer kills should be the same outrage we have today. When black lives are taken by whoever they're taken by, there should be outrage in the city of Chicago from black, white, and brown people. It was a steady stream of gunfire and carnage all Father's Day weekend. CPD Superintendent David Brown addressing the matter and says he believes part of the bloodshed is at the hands of repeat offenders. There are too many violent offenders not in jail or on electronic monitoring, which no one is really monitoring. Also of issue, say the organizers at tonight's peace rally, people need to speak up and tell police if they know anything. As it is, CPD's clearance rate of murders remains way too low, they say. Amani Johnson is with the group Brave Youth Leaders of St. Sabina. I think it's time for one, the community, to start speaking out against crimes that are happening on an everyday basis. It's time for us to not get riled up just when a white cop kills one of us, but when innocent lives are lost every day due to gun violence. We should have been pissed long before George Floyd because our lives are at stake Every time we walk out our doors, regardless of the presence of police. Father Michael Flager sharing that he received a phone call from Mayor Lightfoot shortly before he began speaking about 6.30. He says that she said to him that this rate of violence will not continue. He didn't go into any kind of detail, but he said that she is promising that this will not continue at this pace moving forward. Alive at police headquarters, 35th of Michigan. Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio. Patrick, thanks very much.